Now let's go to the next profile and that is the administrator. And a good example in the Bible is Nehemiah and Joseph. Now both these men were the second in command to the most most powerful man in the world at that particular time. For Nehemiah it was King Nebuchadnezzar, it was a superpower, the Persian Empire. And in the time of Joseph it was the Pharaoh during the time of the Egyptian dynasty. Now their, du their duty is to direct resources for the accomplishing of the vision. They tend to be goal oriented. They see how things should be. They are very well disciplined. They work well under pressure. They are tireless. They want things done efficiently. They are emotionally stable and self-controlled. They tend to be planners, organizers and delegators. They assume leadership if no one steps forward. They set very high standards and overcome setbacks. They are efficient users of resources. They are strongly motivated to achieve and accomplish. They are able to communicate their objectives to get the job done. They are systematic and they can keep track of things to be done. They have the ability to see the big picture. They influence people to get the job done. They love the challenge of the project or the goal. They want to finish a job to start a new one. They are constantly busy working. They understand submission. They won't overstep the bounds. They can take criticism to complete the goal. They work best without supervision when boundaries of authority have been established. They don't mind others getting the credit so long as a job gets done. Where would you find them in a church or in the world outside? Managers, supervisors, CEOs, project coordinators, planners, directors, chairmen, people like that. People who are in, in charge, people who are in command. So now do you see yourself here?